Good morning, good morning. Shout out to all the people who bought training and shout out to the people who are about to buy training. And once again, shout out to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. I was watching a YouTube advertisement and the guy went into a webinar. And one of the things that he consistently talked about was what the money did for him, did for his mother. The, you know, he talked about how broke he was, how he flew to the Philippines and he spent $300,000 getting trainers from mentors. And then he came back and he started to talk about, he bought his mother a car, he bought his father a car, his father was fist pumping and he got his assistant a MacBook Pro and he got another assistant a car and he was just talking about money and the things it could do and literally I listened to this 25 minutes of this of what money could do before we even got into what you would do, what his training was about for you to make the money. And at that moment, it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. See, money is a construct, once again. However, let's take the word construct. Construct means to erect, to build. So money is a construct. If you erect or build something, you could get money. But what I saw and what I continue to see is training and mindset on what money will do for you once you get money. But there's very little conversation about how to do things to get money it is like literally I have watched so many webinars so many advertisements and it's the same thing over and over and over again you get the money your life will be amazing you can quit your job and you could and this this is a big one this is a big one Spend more time with friends and family. All right, let me share some with you. As someone who retired, what I found out is I had money and I had time freedom, right? Virtually no one else I knew did. So you can go ahead and get that time freedom, money freedom, but typically unless you're married and you just tell your wife she doesn't have to work, that spending more time with friends and family is not exactly true because typically what I found myself, even though I was retired, I had plenty of free time. Most of my activities took place on the weekends because this is when people were off. So I keep seeing this trope over and over again that you get the money, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. And it, it hit me that we have put out programming to talk about the benefits of money without talking about the construct of money. And this is really, really important because years and years ago, I used to be a regular person. I used to be a normal person and I went to work and I got a, a work my time and I got a paycheck and I came home. I didn't understand none of these principles that I know so well today. And what you're seeing, because once again, uh, like I said, I, I'm getting ready to start running ads and I consistently see this type of messaging twin like literally every webinar that I watch there's 25 30 minutes of fluff 
because I'm looking for the meat. I'm not looking for the bread. I'm looking for the meat. And it takes so long to get to the meat because I begin to understand that the average person needs extraordinary motivation to take action. You've got, it's got to be, because now I'm beginning to understand why they say, you know, a million. Who's going to claim? It has to be so big because here's the thing. $2,000 additional a month for the average American is life changing. It would make a huge difference. But I remember years ago, I was talking with someone. We were talking about the lottery and he said, like, yeah, it's 30 million. They ain't enough for me to play. And this individual made $30,000 a year, but 30 million wasn't enough for him to take action. And that, that this whole thing reminded me of that, that people are looking for grand slam home runs versus base hits. But if you know anything about baseball, Statistically, base hits win baseball games, not home runs. And I'm beginning to understand that people don't understand that money is a construct. Money is not scarce. Opportunity isn't scarce. What is scarce is the methodology to construct a device to get that money. Um, I mean, it's really profound when you think about it, because literally I give you an example. Um, I was reading in when you go to Google, it gives you all these articles. Right. And there was this article about this girl who creates these Excel um, spreadsheets and how she built a business in 2020 and she's been selling, she sells Excel, her name is Miss Excel and she sells Excel training and she has a TikTok channel and I'm a fat checker, right? So there was like, yeah, she has a TikTok channel of million followers. I go to her TikTok channel, she doesn't have a million followers. And they're talking about all the money that she had made and she had made $100,000 in one day and then I went ahead and I did some research. I was like, is this the only person selling Excel training? No, she's not. And I found a company that was doing 10 million. And I was just sitting here understanding what we're seeing. I was able to, you know, she's honestly, she's set up this program. She's made money. I feel that the way that she looks has a big part into why she is successful because she is the average white girl next door. But I have seen average white girls literally blow up on the internet all the time. It is, it's a, it's, it's a thing. You could be an average white girl with long hair and not you know, I'm not, she's not ugly. She's not ugly in any sense of the word, but she's not anything I would try to talk to. But you see the pushing of this narrative that somehow, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a common thing that someone who was broke or had a regular job has found instant success and it happens it does happen but traditionally success is something that comes over time for the average person but you're fed this consistent diet of people like this and for some people it's inspiring for some people you lose hope it's like, I've been trying for years and I've never hit a lick like that. But one of the things that we're not seeing, one of the things that we're not seeing overall, this is what I try to teach. And I, I, I try to be consistent with my message that if you do the work three years, 
three years of work, three years of effort, your life will be substantially better. And that's my message. But with all of these advertisements and these articles in Google indicating that success can be found extremely quickly, success can be found literally in a few weeks. This kind of makes my message hard to digest because it's like, Glendon, yeah, I know you mean well and everything, dog, but Miss XL, she blew up in two months. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that. So instead of taking action and working on your life and building your businesses in this three year time frame, you're consistently hunting for that quick lick. And literally, I have seen this in my comments. It's like, man, for the last seven years, I've been trying to, and I finally listened to you, and I'm starting to get success. I'm starting to move the needle. So many people are bedazzled, hoodwinked, led astray with this narrative that you can be an average person and you can have instant success. Now, I have a theory on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. And my theory is rooted in that most of the programmers that create the algorithms for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram are white and Indian and Chinese. Very, very few black programmers. And I feel that there is an embedded bias because literally you can see someone average, not particularly talented, that is white, and they will literally blow up on a social media platform. This is common. This is common. And I feel that that embedded bias for people of color, because it's just not black folks. You know, if an Indian creates an Indian website that's inside India, yeah, it blows up. But once it cuts over here, it doesn't do that so well. It doesn't do well. And I think this embedded bias, because let's take Miss XL. There's a company out there that's making 10 times more money than what she does. But we're not hearing about that. You want to know why? I went ahead and Googled the company. The company was formed in 2012. And this company has been on the Internet for 10 years and been working. That's just wait a minute. You formed a company in 2012. Now, 10 years later, you're making 10 million. We don't want to tell that story. We don't want to tell that story. Even though this other XL company is making 10 times the money, is not as salacious or saucy as Miss XL blowing up in literally a year. And I feel that those narratives are a huge distraction to keep you off base from your success. Because you know, I'm a seasoned entrepreneur. I can see through, I can tiptoe and dance through the raindrops. And literally when I watch these um, webinars, I'm not looking, I'm not watching from a place of desperation. I have money. So I'm not looking for this quick lick. I am looking for something that can help me with my business. And literally <clears throat> the way that these programs are designed are they're designed to entice average desperate people into buying them. And they're not really for seasoned business people. They're just not. And that's why, you know, I'm just sitting here like, what, what, what is going on? And because when I li listen to someone like I watch a video, I listen to them. Look, there's a guy on here who's a trader who very knowledgeable, knows about trading, but he's consistently saying in his videos, he doesn't have the money to make the trades he wants to make, which tells me that even as a profitable 
knowledgeable trader, there isn't as much money in trading as there is in business. That's what I hear when I hear him say that, because I have a business that enables me to do whatever I want to do. I want to pay cash for a car. I can pay cash for a car. My next goal is to pay cash for a house. I will do it with a business. So one of the things that you got to understand that money and this is a message from me to you. You can do this. However, it's not going to happen overnight. You can do this. You can start a business. You can make money. You can become rich. Then you can become wealthy. But it ain't happening overnight. And that's the, the narrative. That's the thing that is being pushed so hard that you feel that if you start a business and it doesn't blow up in three months, it's a failure and you might as well stop and look for something else to do. You're wasting time with this type of narrative and you're wasting time with this type of content. Uh, literally, I am seeing people who bought into the Airbnb narrative who are on the hook for hundreds of thousands of dollars with a mortgage for a property freak out at the moment because they bought into this narrative that they can go ahead, get the piece of property and start making instant lucrative cash flow. And it's just simply not true. The astute Airbnb investors, and I'll make this distinction. There are people on Airbnb right now who are killing it, but they have their properties in destination locations. They don't have their properties. There's someone that lives in Cleveland that has Airbnbs. All his Airbnbs are in Florida. He doesn't have any in his neighborhood because he knows because he did his research. He knows that he's just not going to get the occupancy rate that he wants. But you have had so many people bought into this. We flip beds. You can flip beds from anywhere. Literally just set up an Airbnb in Podunk, Michigan, and you're going to make some money. Once again, the average person is not financially astute. And this is why they get hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. Because they don't understand that money is a construct. You must construct something to get the money. This is why the largest fake narrative online is the narrative of investing. And the fake narrative of investing is that you can invest a little bit of money and get a large return in a very short period of time. That is the fake narrative that's being pushed all over the internet. And the folks who are investing and making money understand that you need a large capital position. There was a guy, Wall Street Bets, young guy, interesting guy who managed to raise $25 million from friends and family and he bought Bed Bath and Beyond and he cashed out at 115 or 120 million. Okay. This guy, young guy, I think he's 20 years old. He understood he needed a large capital position cuz here's the thing. He 5x his money. He did not have a thousand, well, I don't know the actual percentage of return, but he 5x his money. Uh, he invested 25,000. He cashed out at 120. That's a 5x ROI on his money. But let's talk, he had $25 million to start. And right now I've had people, people tell me, you don't need a large uh, brokerage account to make a lot of money in the investment field. I keep hearing people who who literally keep pushing this false narrative. False narrative. This kid, you could Google it. 20, you know, 25, 120, 100. Um, but he had 25 million to start. I feel that this trader here on YouTube, if he had 25 million, he would get those kind of returns because he knows what he's doing with trading. But because he doesn't have that capital position, 
And I, I've like literally had many of you come in the comments. It's like, no, you don't need a lot of money. But I'm consistently seeing the people who are making these extraordinary returns have a large capital position. There was a guy who was um, doing the AMC uh, AMC or I forget what it is. It was one of the Wall Street bets. He had $100,000 and he turned that into $2.2 million. But he had $100,000. I don't even think this trading guy has $100,000. So, once again, the fake narrative of the internet is that success is instantaneous, it's fast, and you have many poster boys and poster girls of this narrative and when they write these narratives they're not 100 percent truthful like she has a million tick she does not have a million tiktok followers she's about 150,000 followers short like all right call me nitpicky but if someone has over a million followers it should say 1 million plus it shouldn't say 8 825 call me picky but i guess they round it up but once again Guys, money's a construct, and you can get money if you would stop wasting time with these false narratives. Because these false narratives will lead you astray. They will lead you astray every day of the week, twice on Sunday. <laughs>